for more precise measurements than can be obtained with the meter stick, uh, we use various types of calipers. And for precision, they depend not on estimating the last tenth of the smallest division, but on the use of something called a vernier scale, which helps us read that fraction. And to demonstrate how that works, I have this device right here. It has this sliding scale, and then it has a main scale down here divided, in this case, into centimeters. So these are centimeters. Now the vernier scale, which is this one, has 10 divisions that occupy the same length as nine divisions of the main scale. That means each of these divisions on the vernier is nine-tenths as large as the divisions on the main scale. So if we start here at the zero end of the vernier and I move it over until the number one mark lines up with a main scale mark, I've moved the vernier one-tenth of a division. When the second mark lines up, I've moved it two-tenths. When the third mark lines up, I've moved it three-tenths. The fourth mark, four-tenths. The fifth mark, five-tenths. And finally, when the number ten mark lines up, I've moved it one division of the main scale. And then we can start over. When the number one mark lines up now, it's 1.1. So if I were going to measure the length of my pen, I can see that here's 10, 11, 12, 13 centimeters. It's larger than 13 centimeters, but smaller than 14. Now I could estimate the number of tenths, but the vernier scale allows me to look down here until I find the mark, in this case it's number six, that's perfectly aligned with some main scale mark. So the reading here would be 13.6 centimeters. Ten division verniers are probably the most common ones, but they're not the only ones used. Here are three different vernier calipers. Here's a rather inexpensive one, which has a 10 division vernier scale. Here's a somewhat more precise one, in which there are 20 divisions on the vernier scale. And then one with even more pretensions yet, which has 50 divisions on the vernier scale. If we're going to measure something, there are several types of measurements that can be taken. There are inside jaws whose purpose is to take measurements like this, inside measurements. There are outside jaws whose purpose is to take outside measurements like this. And in case you want to measure from an outside to an inside, like this step, you can use the depth rod and take a measurement like that. And in each case, the measurement you want is read at the zero mark of the vernier. In this case, it's a little past 2.2 centimeters and it looks like the 4.6 mark uh, is the best aligned one, so the reading would be 2.246. Centimeters and tenths read off the main scale using the zero mark of the vernier, and then the last two digits come off the vernier scale itself. In this one here with the 50 mark, it divide, the vernier scale divides each millimeter of the main scale into 50 parts. 
So in other words, multiples of 0.02 millimeters or 0.002 centimeters.